Hello and welcome to another edition of Monkey Knife Fighting and Other Sports Commentary. Dano, take it away. Round one fight. WWE Chairman Vince McMahon is in the news for having paid a large sum of hush money to a younger employee he had an affair with, drawing backlash from his family and sparking rumors that Paul Levesque, a.k.a. Triple H, might take over the company. Outstanding. Wrestling fans issue a collective size. WWE continues to recycle storylines from 20 years ago. No! Steph Curry, great week. One of the all-time greats for sure now. I think he might even have passed Kobe. Though he'll never catch up to the Mamba in many key areas, such as sexual assault charges and, uh, oh yeah, getting killed in a horrific crash just to avoid L.A. traffic. Infantility. It's 2022 and Tony La Russa is managing the White Sox into the ground when he can find time between DUIs. Nobody's quite sure why baseball can attract younger fans. Babality. Ben Simmons. He got paid to not work... For a whole year. Outstanding. He's our patron saint. Excellent. Tom Brady is set to work as a Fox Sports analyst following retirement and a software update to make him more charming than Peyton Manning. Chicken parm, you taste so good. (laughs) I'm being told that the flyers were sold to one of those shady crypto sites and now no longer exist. Feels like an improvement to me. John Tortorella is the new Flyers head coach, giving the fans more of what they want. First round playoff exits and press room stabbings. Go! Oh! Phillies went on a nine-game winning streak after firing manager Joe Girardi. Listen here, always tell your boss to suck it. Outstanding. A YouTuber posing as Clay Thompson made it past security to the court during the NBA playoffs. Someone posing as James Harden also did this 12 times. Ah! Yeah, if uh, Ben Simmons is our patron saint, James Harden is our cruel reality. We're trying, but not really. The 2022 World Cup is happening in the fall. In Philadelphia. Because FIFA loves oil money and forced labor. Look out for fist fights in sports bars at midday in autumn when people can't figure out what the word football means. Fight. Go! Jalen Rager. He's Nelson Elgahor with a Fox attitude. Excellent. Winning time on HBO is great, but I still hate Jason Siegel for making out with Lindsay Weir. Finish him. Good night and give your balls a tug. You're listening to Private Audio for over-caffeinated stoners. Yes, sir, Mr. Ducksworth. Thank you very much, Mr. Ducksworth. Quack, 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 quack. Ducksworth. Broadcasting live 27 hours a day, 536 days a year. Dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. This is Radio Detritus. Come on, this affects all of us, man. Our basic freedom. I'm staying. I'm finishing my coffee. 